Hey guys, what's up? It's Johnny here for Three Colors, threecolors.co, the site that's full of photography love. And in this little video, I'm going to take you through installing your brand new presets and how to use them. Okay, so we're talking Lightroom presets. I'm in Lightroom here, and what I need to do first is head on up to Lightroom, go down to Preferences, and what I'm looking for here is this, Show Lightroom Presets Folder. And if I click on that, it's going to bring up a Finder window. Now, I'm just going to drag that over to another desktop so we can see what we're doing here. All right, and drag that out so we can make it a bit bigger. And you can see it's showing us the destination where all the presets for Lightroom are stored. But what we're looking for are develop presets, okay? So this is the folder we're looking for. And you'll see if you've downloaded my presets, you'll have them in a little zip file. You want to double click that and your computer will unpack that zip file so it now looks like this and if we open up the file you'll see all these presets in there but we have to put them in a special file location so that Lightroom knows to look for them and that's what we're doing now so make sure you've found those preference references there so Lightroom show Lightroom presets folder and go into the develop module presets folder and we're going to drop that folder in there now I already have them installed I'm just going to hit replace just for the hell of it and now Lightroom's ready to uh, add those to your develop module, okay? It's as easy as that. But first, what we need to do, we need to restart Lightroom so it looks in that folder again and can show your presets. So I'm gonna quit Lightroom. I'm gonna skip back up for this time. And we're gonna go back into Lightroom. And we'll wait for it to load up. And I'm gonna hit D for develop module. And we're on a lovely image here of Crowdy Bay. Whoa. Actually, not Crowdy Bay. This is Crescent Head on the New South Wales North Coast. Absolutely beautiful sunrise it was this morning. So I'm just going to reset this, make sure there's nothing done in the develop module. And you'll see in the preset. So I'm in the develop module now. Okay, on the left-hand side, you can see Johnny's Lightroom Presets Special Source. <laughs> and as you can see, there's 12 there. And uh, if, you, if you run your mouse over those different presets, you'll, in the preview window, in the navigation window here, you'll get a bit of a preview of what the image is going to look like. So you would say you want a contrasty black and white, one click, beautiful contrasty black and white. Now, I would always take these presets as a starting place. Sometimes, like this blue one here, sometimes you get a pretty good job straight from the preset, okay? But it may need a little bit of adjustment to your liking. So say you want to see a bit more detail in the foreground, you may want to open up those shadows a bit. Say you want to close down and the highlights just a little bit more okay so presets are always a good starting place sometimes sometimes they'll you, you know one click and you'll be ready to go and you're happy with the outcome but other times it's just a great starting place okay so that's how I use presets all right so that's how you can use these ones so say I wanted to use this blue tone here I thought to myself I want to make it I want to open up those shadows and I want to close down the highlights and maybe I'll open bump the exposure just to touch on this one. Now say I wanted to create this as a new preset and I wanted to call it lighter blue or something like that. I can hit this plus button here and I can put it in Johnny's preset folder and I might call it something like black and white and brighter, brighter blue because I bumped the exposure up and opened up the shadows a bit. Um, so we might call it something like that and I'm going to hit create. And you can see what it's done. So we now got it. That's the blue tone we had before. And we've now got our brighter one as well as another preset as a starting place for next time if I wanted to get that same look on another photo. So presets are absolutely awesome. Enjoy the 12 I've given you there. There's lots to play with. Um, I really particularly... I think um, for all your images, a great place to start is this one here because it just makes little adjustments. All the fine things I would actually do to just about every image is done here. Obviously, the things you want to tweak are the highlights and shadows and the black and white point. They're the main things, you know. Um, you may want to treat, tweak differently on every image just to get all those levels correct. But uh, a great place to start is always a good place to start. It adds sharpening. It adds a bit of um, sharpening as it adds, adds, adds a vignette. That's what I was trying to say. Jeez, <laughs> I need more coffee. Adds a vignette and you can see it adds a bit of contrast and a few other things so it's a it's a cool little preset but anyway there's plenty there to play with go through them have, have a bit of a look and uh come up with your own and yeah enjoy enjoy presets are so much fun and they do make your post processing a lot more easier and they actually open up a world of creativity as well because you can preview all these different things without actually having to make the changes to your image so and they're really nice really nice and lots of fun enjoy those free presets and uh have fun creating your own and this has been Johnny for Three Colors, threecolors.co, and I'll see you next time. Peace.